Hi, this is George at PaintReproductions.com. Today's video we're going to be going over is the limited palette. The benefits of a limited palette. It's possible to recreate almost any color by using just four primary colors. This can save you a significant amount of money on paint that you don't actually need. Investing in high quality paint can also help you achieve better results overall and enhance your painting techniques. If you want to experiment with mixing colors and finding the perfect shades for your artwork, using the limited palette is a great way to start. And if you need to thin your paint, linseed oil is a great option that won't affect this consistency of the paint. So the limited palette, basically, all my colors that we're using, all the colors I've been using for the last 10, 15 years, everything's all based upon just a limited palette of mixing my own colors. What happens is during a part of this course, one of the things to talk about is that limited cap palette, I'm using a very, uh, only using a few paints. My paints are mixed per sitting and I basically use a glass palette. The glass palette, I do include a video how to make it. I also include a video on how to make a color checker so you can verify and check your colors. So your mixing goes, so you can keep practicing your mixing and your color checker, the more you use it, the better you get at it, the more, the less you'll actually need it and you just use it kind of every now and then for verification. But I do include a video how to make one for about $15 and the same for the glass palette for about, eh, it costs about 10, 15 bucks and you can have one of those too. Uh, my primary colors are cadmium yellow, pale hue, French ultramarine, vermilion hue, burnt umber, ivory black. Okay, I'm only using the ivory black in the Griselle. Okay, most of my blacks are mixed using uh, brown and blue. Example is if you're doing dark, like dark, if you need a dark blue in the sky or black in the sky for say a storm, I'd actually, I actually use burnt umber and French ultramarine. I just add more blue to it. So it's like a bluish brown. And the same thing is if you're doing woods or mountains or something that's on the ground, I'll use more brown than blue unless it's dealing with the reflex, reflection from the atmosphere or something like that. All my colors are mixed. Um, and uh, I take, uh, and when I mix them, I mix different tones. And the more you practice doing that, the easier it is. If you look on the, the little video here going on, you'll see me mixing up different colors right there. And I'm mixing it on the palette. And I practice mixing that, check the tones and stuff. You'll find out you go through a lot less paint and you don't have to, you don't have to sit and create every, every possible shade and have it wet the whole time on a huge palette, you know, that it all ends up being mudded in there anyway. What you're actually doing is you're just mixing what you need for that sitting. And then once you finish that sitting, the next thing you're seeing what colors you need using your color checker and you're verifying the colors you need and that's what you're mixing for that session. So you're not dealing with a ton of paint, you're, and you're only using very little bits of it at a time. And then you add a little linseed oil, makes it easier for mixing. And of course we got gesso used for priming canvas, but that's it. That's the end. Now for the paints I actually use, I use Windsor Newton, I use a higher quality paint, but it's okay, I can afford that because I'm not buying 500 different colors. Uh, the only other color I actually use every now and then is I, I use a special blue, but for this case, we're not using it. I use that special blue when I'm doing a Monet reproduction or a Degas, something with the impressions. I have this really nice blue that someone showed me online and I really like it. So, you know, there's color mixing guidelines, but for optimal mixing results, you use a small amount of paint and gradually add small amounts of the desired color. Avoid adding black to darken the color and limit the number of colors mixed together to a maximum of three. If a third color is required, only use it to tint a mixed color. Prior to starting a new painting session, ensure to scrape off any dry paint from the palette and wipe it down with gam salt to prepare for mixing new paint. 